the past few times that pool noodles have come up in the discussion, I've had people ask me how I package uh, glass microwave oven trays for shipment using the pool noodles. So I figured why not start and make a video on it. I apologize for the quality. Uh, I'm using my point and shoot camera to make this. But first thing you do is measure the width of your plate. This one's 13 and 3 8 inches. You multiply that by 3.14 and that will give you the length of tube to cut. As it turns out, uh, in this particular case I need 42 inches and this tube is 42 inches. So we're already good to go there. Um, then cut a split down the side of the tube. And then what I do is every uh, six inches or so down the, the tube, down the slit, I put in, cut a V out of it, and then throw these in with my packing peanuts. And this simply helps it wrap around the plate a little bit better with a little less, a little less uh, resistance trying to make it spring outward. Okay, um, then on either end, on the side that's towards the slit, um, cut a little bit of an angle so that when you wrap it around it fits together nicely. So there's the slit right here, uh, just cut, kind of cut a bit of an angle off of that. And same thing at the other end. Okay, um, then you just fit the slit around the edge of your plate. And you got a pretty good fit. Um, I just take some normal Walmart six inch cling wrap. Make a couple passes around just to kind of secure it so it doesn't spring back open. Okay. Uh, then I take a couple sheets of small bubble wrap. I'd say two, two sheets if you've got the one foot perforations on it. Slide that in and then I just tuck some under here so it stays in place. Okay, same thing on the other side. In this particular case, there was no uh, foam noodle left over, um, but I happen to have scrap. So if you have some, the last thing that I do, when you put this in the box, I use a 16 by 16 by 3 inch box. The center of the box is going to be the weakest point for crush damage. So what I'll do is take a, any scrap piece of uh, pool noodle I have and split it into two pieces. Stuff it up underneath here and just kind of wedge it in there like that. The saran wrap will hold it in place. Okay, and then that's pretty much good to go. 
Um, I've got a 16 by 3 by 3 box. Drop it in here. Um, use some void filler, either packing peanuts, newspaper, bubble wrap, whatever you'd like, um, so that it doesn't jiggle around and it closes right up and sealed nice and firm. So I hope that helps you guys.